Hello, dear friends. The state-of-the-art beef plant and multi-million dollar U.S. beef production lines are incredible examples of cutting-edge technology and innovation in animal husbandry and food processing. The modern assembly lines of industries are equipped with automated machines and robots that operate smoothly. Now let's explore the interesting process of raising and processing cows in this video. In addition to a very skilled, enthusiastic team, modern technology lines, American cows are also cared for with the utmost care, ensuring a comfortable environment and minimizing stress. Meanwhile, the food provided to pets also plays an important role in maintaining their health and improving their performance. The two main feed sources used in livestock rations are corn silage and grass. Corn is a type of animal feed rich in energy and protein that provides essential nutrients for the growth and development of animals. It is important that ground corn be easily digestible and absorbed, promoting a balanced diet for animals. Grass is the main natural food for pets. It provides rich food, contains fiber and beneficial vitamins, promotes digestion, and supports immunity. Their diets need to be carefully considered and varied to ensure that the animals receive adequate nutrition. In addition to ground corn and grass, other food sources such as bran, cereals, and potatoes ensure optimal health and high yields. The harvested grass and corn will be sent to the farm systems to ferment, greatly improving the quality. The nutritional content after fermentation provides pet food that requires the support of a feed mixer. This modern and important piece of equipment in the livestock industry plays a vital role in providing a balanced diet and meeting the nutritional needs of the animals. The flock feed mixer combines ingredients such as minerals, corn grass seed mix, and bran to create a uniform and varied feed quality. The process ensures that ingredients are evenly distributed in each batch to ensure that animals receive adequate nutrition at each meal. Also machines that supports large-scale livestock operations, such as on farms, to reduce labor and cut costs without affecting efficiency. Feeding also needs to be controlled to avoid uneven feed distribution to help herd growth and ensure an adequate supply of beef to meat processing plants around the world. To provide millions of tons of meat each year, this beef farm raising a thousand cows is said to require strict and professional management. To effectively manage and care for a herd of 1,000 cattle, it requires a team of experienced and dedicated staff. Free grazing allows cattle to develop strong immunity and avoid diseases. Now let's look at the largest beef processing and grinding plant in the United States. Here, a team of professional staff performs the slaughtering process with sophisticated techniques to ensure the animals are comfortable with minimal pain. Then the beef is transferred to the processing line. This process involves removing unused parts and sorting the meat into different categories, such as beef cuts and ground beef.
Each type of meat is then packaged and labeled according to quality and food safety standards. With this modern processing line, the factory can process 1,000 pieces of American beef per day, providing large quantities of beef to international markets and large supermarkets. The entire process of slaughtering and processing U.S. beef at the factory is supervised and inspected by the Food Quality Management Agency to ensure compliance with food safety regulations and product quality standards. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel to be automatically notified of our upcoming great videos. Now let's dive deeper and explore one of the largest beef import plants in Europe, where the industry is considered a global leader. At this stage, beef continues to undergo preliminary processing to ensure quality. Next comes removing unused parts, cleaning thoroughly, and preparing the meat. The process of dividing the meat is done professionally and meticulously. The meat is divided into different parts, minced meat, steak bones, and other processed products. Here, they provide top quality American beef that meets the highest standards and is supplied for export to the European market. Meat costs about $100 more for 10 kilograms of premium American beef. Giant European bulls weighing 30,000 kilograms are used to breed and produce high-quality animals for farms and businesses. If you truly enjoyed this video, please leave your thoughts below, as we promise to continue to provide the most engaging content. Now let's continue with the next video. Join us today to visit a black nose sheep farm to see how the sheep raising and shearing process goes. Modern agricultural livestock and processing programs are constantly updated on our channel. Please subscribe to the channel to follow interesting topics. The black nose sheep is a cattle variant of the sheep. It has a black nose, short ears, and white, gray, or black coats. Black-nosed sheep are raised for meat and milk, as well as to attract tourists to visit sheep farms. Around the world, there are many different breeds of black-nosed sheep. Scottish, Blackface, Suffolk, Hamsfree, Dopper, and Katandin. Normally, black-nosed sheep are raised in a two-spam model that combines free-range and band rearing. Most of the time, black-nosed sheep will be raised outside in the open space for them to live freely and find food sources. However, they are also kept in cages on days when the weather conditions are bad or in the dark to ensure the sheep's safety from injury and harm.
black nose sheep reach maturity usually after reaching the age of about one to two years of age. When reaching adulthood, the black nose sheep is fully fertile and can produce products such as meat, milk, wool, and skin. The weight of the black nosed sheep usually ranges from about 40 to 140 kg, depending on the breed and age of the sheep. Black nosed sheep are one of the largest sheep species. With some breeds reaching up to 150 kg in weight when they reach adulthood. Shaving time for black sheep nose is usually done in the spring or early summer. to allow the hair to regrow in the fall and winter. The sheep shearing process must be performed by experienced people to ensure the safety of the sheep while preserving the best quality of wool. To shave the sheep, the worker must fix the sheep on a flat surface. After that, they began to shave the sheep with a specialized epilator. The shaving process must be done in sequence and gently so as not to damage the sheep's skin. Normally, the fleece will regrow in about six months. After being shaved, however, for some sheep's breed or in a favorable habitat, the hair regrowth may take longer. To ensure the health of the sheep and the quality of their hair after shaving, it is necessary to provide them with a good diet. Create a good living condition and care conditions to help their hair grow back quickly and beautifully. Black nosed wool has high economic value, especially black nosed wool has good quality and is less susceptible to aging. Black nosed fleece is used to produce high end handicrafts such as coats, rugs, blankets, pillows, and many more. In addition, black nose fleece is also used in the fashion industry to create unique and classy products. In addition to being used to produce meat, food, and milk for humans, black nose sheep are also kept as pets or kept in zoos. The black nosed sheep is a rare animal and is currently being preserved and protected for conservation and population development. Black nosed sheep farms are usually located in mountainous or highland areas with suitable living conditions for this sheep, such as some countries in Switzerland, Scotland, and New Zealand. Thank you for watching the video on the topic of raising black nosed sheep. If you love this video, please click like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel to regularly update the latest information on the topic of high tech farming and processing. See you in the next videos.